on vacation in Florida, saw that there was going to be a swap meet at the Sumpner Fairgrounds, so took along the hand truck to go check it out. Went on the first day, which was Friday, February the 11th, and it turned out to be a pretty decent turnout. Now, since they had music playing in the background that was copyrighted, I decided to go ahead and mute all the audio out of this video and just narrate a little bit of what you're seeing. While I was doing some shopping, my wife took the camera and was looking at this particular stand. Uh, never mind the finger in the way. The showgrounds here is a pretty good size, and if you take a look at the map here, uh, there's a lot of vendor spaces, though being the first day, not all of them were full, but we did hear that it was supposed to be uh, filled for the next day. The admission was uh, $10 a person, and it was free to park. I have to say that uh, those rusty mufflers there, I wound up buying those. In fact, you'll be able to see at the end of the video, I'll show you all the stuff that I bought at this show. While editing this video, I was looking through some of this, and I'm surprised at how much stuff I actually missed, like that balancer for $25. Uh, or a little further down here, there's two quadrigit carbs for $5 a piece. Why did I not see those? This 26T bucket uh, hot rod was pretty nice. I mean, really quality work on it. Uh, it was $80,000, though. Uh, if you want to see more of that, I have a short of that video posted, so go check that out. This show field, unlike Carlisle, is pretty level ground, and uh, I was really surprised at how wide the aisles were. You kind of zigzag back and forth between uh, all the vendors. I was doing a little bit of shopping here while I was filming, so not all the video that I shot is really clear. All the moldings that were on this orange tarp were a dollar a piece, so if you knew what you were looking for, you could really get a good deal. The time I was shooting this, it was about two hours into the show, and as you can see, this Impala convertible was already sold. Someone saw a pretty good deal. Now this event was the Winter Extravaganza, so this is a special event. Apparently they have monthly shows at a couple times a year. There's a couple of months, I think, in the summer that they skip, which I think are smaller and might not necessarily be auto oriented but uh, this again was a pretty good turnout I was pretty happy with it it was certainly worth the time to uh, to take off of our trip to go and check this out and it was a pretty awesome day for a guy from Pennsylvania in the beginning of February to go to Florida in the bright sunshine and 79 degrees just a wonderful feeling There was a few nice cars sitting in the vendor's area. This one had a big block Chevy in it, uh, but no sale signs on it. Here's something you don't see too often, AMC parts. And right next to it, Buick Riviera parts. Two things you don't typically run across in a swap meet.
thought this was pretty cool and I wanted to make sure I shared it, these painted bed floors. I don't think this Nova would have been a bad deal. It had some areas you could see that the body was popping, but all these cars, typically you find them at this price range, are going to need metal work done to them. And it's a 68. That's one year only dash in that car. If you want to see more on that, I have a short on that. Just check up on my channel. You'll, you'll find the short videos that I have. Thanks to inflation, you can see the $1 tarp has gone up to $5. Just like the 67 Impala earlier, uh, this Firebird had no price tag on it. So this is what I got from the uh, swap meet. Let me show you around a little bit. This first thing here is uh, actually for in the garden. You can actually put a saw up on the end of that. It's telescoping, plug it in, and then it's got a trigger on it so you can run a saw so you're cutting limbs out. It's five bucks, but that was a good deal. I got three different sets of brake lines that have different flares, so from 5 sixteenths on up to 3 eighths. Um, this is just random stuff, so that way if I need something that's already uh, pre-flared and has nuts on it, and maybe just bend it to fit something if I had to do a quick replacement, as opposed to run down the auto parts store. This was $10 a bundle for each of those, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Got an undercoat gun. I still have some lizard skin for uh, applying in cars for uh, heat control. So I didn't have a, gu a proper gun for it, so five bucks. Thought that was pretty good. Got a die grinder. Says it's good. Five bucks. Uh, I have one of these. It's old, cheap Chinese. This was really heavy duty. And I thought for a buck, what the heck, I'd pick it up. Um, I already have three other water temp gauges. But this was $2. I mean, come on, $2. Why would I just leave that sitting on the table? I picked it up. I'll have yet another extra one. Got a couple bags of different um, tube holders, wire holders, whatever you want to call them. And then I uh, got one that's quite an assortment, so they were all 5 bucks a pop. Uh, battery tray. I have no idea what this fits, but um, I figured for $5, if I ever need a battery tray for something, a custom project or something like that, I'll have a battery tray. These lights... Um, I got the three of those for 25 bucks. If I build that rack for the Jeep, I want to put a rack up there at some point. I want to put some lights across the front of it. I thought these old school lights would look pretty cool up there. All right. So this, I wound up buying this. I think it's okay. They're just pretty rusty. It must have been in a flood. But $10 for a pair of mufflers. I mean, come on. Why not pick them up? So that's it. That's what I got at the swap meet. Let me know what you think. Did I do well? Um, did I, you know, waste my money? But, uh, throw some comments down. What do you think? All right, so that's going to do for this video. Uh, don't mind me with my lollipop. I got it from a Mexican store down there. It's pineapple flavored pretty good. Anyway, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Drop me some comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.